time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning, you guys. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. All right. It is time. It is time. The, the nominations are in. Drum roll, please. What do we know? What do we have? Uh, the Oscar nominations are in, and for Best Picture, there are 10 films that are nominated this year, which I think is a lot more than normal, uh, but it's Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, the Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. And my little conspiracy theory is that they nominated so many pictures this year because I think they want a lot of people in attendance. Like, they want a lot of the really famous big names. Mm. So they're like, your picture gets a nomination, and then your movie. <laughs> and so everybody's up there for it. Well, I just think it's interesting. You know, they, they opened up the best movie category a few years ago, uh, you know, up from five nominations to 10, uh, to a maximum mm -hmm. of 10, because they had said, you know, oh, we, we want to bring in a more diverse range of films, mm. a more diverse range of, of movie going audiences. That makes sense. And yet again, you still have, I think, the majority of movies that I would argue are not big mainstream movies. I've seen two on the list this I year. I would agree. I haven't seen any of them. Yeah. I did want to see yeah. West Side Story. That was the one that was on my list. So yeah. I need to make that happen. Obviously, I've heard of Dune. That I one did really did well. Dune. It was good. Mm -hmm. You know, King Richard's the one with Will Smith. Like, I heard great things about it. But I'm in the same category where the other ones I am not familiar with. Yeah. And I, I, haven't, I haven't seen any of them. Now, did Will Smith get nominated for King Richard he did. individually? He okay. did. There's a lot of buzz yeah. that this could be his Oscar year. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. Finally, yeah, for, it's taken long enough, right? right? It's crazy. And for the leading actor, Will Smith's in there, but he's in a big category because it's him, Javier Bardem, Benedict Cumberbatch, Andrew Garfield, and then Denzel Washington. So, like, he's up against a lot of really big names in it. So it's going to be mm -hmm. interesting, yeah, to see who wins in that one. Yeah. Uh, but that one had a little bit, I mean, uh, Javier Bardem's up for being the Ricardos, which I think more people saw than some of the other things that were nominated. So maybe that makes it slightly more mainstream. Yeah, this Power of the Dog movie, I haven't heard anything about it. Nothing about it, and it's and it's everywhere in these nominations. Okay. Uh, it's crazy, I, but I've never the, even heard of it. And I love the, Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's fantastic. Liz, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the one he's in with? Is it Kirsten Dunst that's his co-star? Yeah, and Kirsten Dunst's husband's in it as well. And oh, he's okay. up for supporting actor and she's up for lead actress. Gotcha. That one just came out a couple weeks ago. And the only thing I know about it is that Benedict Cumberbatch plays like the bad guy in the movie. And he refused to talk to Kirsten Dunst while they were filming it. Like literally, if they weren't really? on set together... He refused to talk to her because wow. he didn't want to break he had, character. Like, stay in his wow. space. Wow, that oh. would be that would be difficult. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, could not deal with that. <laughs> no, there's. I mean, hey, listen, there's plenty of people I refuse to talk to in my daily life. It's really easy. I can show you a couple tricks. <laughs> How to ignore I'm, by Mike? I'm yeah. the one okay. usually getting ignored. I'm a little bit much <laughs> uh -huh. some days. Uh, maybe explains uh, a lot. Uh, what on the? What about on the actress side? We have Jessica Chastain for Eyes of Tammy Faye, which I'm excited about that one. I actually saw that one, so there's one for my list. Olivia Coleman, Nicole Kidman, Penelope Cruz, and then Kristen Stewart, which is pretty surprising because there was all this buzz before Spencer came out. I think they just put it on Hulu like two days ago. And most people hated the movie, but they really liked her in that role. Yeah. So that'd be pretty cool to see her win an Oscar, especially because like, we still associate her with Twilight, even though she's a decade removed from it and trying right. to do all these great she projects. She's a really good actress, yeah. 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 So it'd be cool to see her win. I just watched that on the plane this weekend, and I, I agree. I thought she was great. I thought the movie itself was just... Oh, <sighs> bummer. That's Snooze a bummer. Fest. Uh, can, I, can I get on my soapbox here for just like a second? I've been really patient about this. Emily's had to hear me complain about this during breaks. <laughs> you have ten, ten, 10 movies for, for best picture, and not one of them is the highest grossing movie in Spider-Man. Tell me how that makes sense. It doesn't have to Thank win. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you, Travis. Right. I was going to get on this soapbox, too, especially if they're trying to diversify the categories. I get it. The Oscars need to be a little bit prestigious. A little artsy. Well, right. But you, you have one of the biggest movies, literally, of all time Thank that you. happened yeah. this year. The only one that probably most people can say they know the name of it off the top of their head mm -hmm. 
and it doesn't even get the nod. Right. You know, I think the only I think the only one in the Marvel universe that's ever been nominated was Black Panther was up a few years back, Mm -hmm. but I don't think they've ever done any of the other superhero movies. I know. So they they nominate these things, and then they wonder why nobody watches the Academy Awards every year. Absolutely ridiculous. I wish we didn't have only thirty seconds till break because I I could go on a rant. I'll listen to you more in the break. You can keep ranting. It's okay. Maybe again we need to start that group thread. I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts about Spider-Man. Please. All All right, right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Take care. And again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.